Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel to a brand new video. First of all, I'd like to apologise because I am just feeling so tired since we got back from Rome. I don't know what it is, but obviously it was a tiring trip. The Rome vlog is the video we filmed last. In case you haven't seen it, then go and have a look at that. It was tiring and I can't wake up since. I just can't get a rest, you know? So excuse my un styled hair today. I'm just coming to you with some real life. I hope you don't mind. And yeah, I've got a hoodie on. I'm excited for the range today. I'm also excited to go to HomeSense. So we will do that very soon on my channel. But yeah, today is for the range. And I'm sat here in the boot room. <laughs> I've actually just done the washing and the drying and got all that figured out for the day. And then like I said, I'm just too tired. I'm gonna go and have a wander around the shops. I'll bring you guys along with me. We'll see if we can pick up some nice little spring bits. And yeah, let's just get going, shall we? <laughs> Hello, Bingo. Hello, Bingo. What are you going, eh? What are you doing? Oh, say hi to everybody on the vlogs. Where's the vlogs? Yes, hi everybody on the vlogs. <laughs> You clever little boy, aren't you? You are so clever, Ralphie. Mm. I love you, little boy. I love you, little boy. I wish I could stay and cuddle you all day, darlings. I've got to go out, okay? Mummy won't be long. I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back really soon. <laughs> I'm so excited with all this Easter stuff. They've got these cute gingham bunnies. How cute are these? They've got little like weights in the bottom of them. So you could use them as doorstops as well. How cute are these for like little babies rooms for $2.99? Then they've got these little daisy candles for £2.50. All the different pastel colours. It just really brings me joy for the spring. Look at this one. It's beautiful. And then we've got these, oh, I don't know where to start. We've got these gonks. I mean, they just have gonks for everything now, don't they? Gonks for Easter, gonks for Christmas. Where did the gonk come from? Are they gnomes? Not sure. And then they've got this little love heart speckled egg um, wreath. Is it a wreath? We've got some Easter foliage, branches, stems, twigs. Um, these look really artificial in my opinion. They're cute, they're lovely, but they're, they're too bright, you know. And then we have these Easter baskets. Now, this is something I can get on board with. It's a planter, but an Easter basket. So obviously you can't use it all year round. Well, I suppose you could, but it screams Easter, doesn't it, with the ears and the burlap ribbon. But I really like it. I love the purple in there, in the, like, the nest, in the twigs. They've also got it in the pink as well. And then up here we have these little nests. These have little glass jars inside. These are really cute. Look at the daisies. So sweet little candle uh, tea light holders I'm expecting and then we've got these easter egg string lights imagine decorating your garden on a lovely spring day with all this stuff look at these rabbits 6.99 now these are really cute I love these this reminds me like Peter Rabbit he's got a little spade and a carrot oh stop it I love this I love it Oh, it's really good in here today. I'm really impressed. I don't know where to turn next. There's just like stand after stand of all this Easter goodness. They've got these little, I don't know what they are. What are they? Do we really need these? No, we don't. But they're so cute, aren't they? Look, it's got like little sheep wool details. These, I've seen someone do something like this. So you know the glass domed cake stand I've got? I could make something like this inside of that cake stand. How good would that be? And they've also got these set of three LED lights and they're like speckled. We've got more wreaths. I think the wreaths, these are bunny wreaths. I'm gonna turn it this side so you can see it properly. We've got some little Easter egg hunt signs. I couldn't get my words out then. <laughs> and then we've got these felt flowers. Now, is it just me or is this screaming arts and crafts at school? We've got some foam 
flowered and butterflies, um, what do you call them? Runners, table runners for 2 99 They've got them in the blue and the pink. If you're doing a tablescape, like I said, how good would that be in the garden? You've also got these gorgeous flowers in these candles. That smells absolutely delicious. $3.99. And then we've got these LED Easter garlands. Garland for the fireplace, is that? Like, do you put them on your fireplace? And then we've got these LED Easter bunnies. That's not a bit of me, but it's cute, isn't it? Oh wow, this is something I can get on board with. What are these? Are these little hanging nests? Oh wow, these are so nice. Look at those, if they were hanging with the chocolates in. What? How nice is that? £1.49 each, that is so nice. And then you could use it afterwards for like a plant. We've got these little carrot uh, plates but there doesn't seem to be a, a price on them. Is there a price on the back? No, there's no price on these for some reason. In fact, there's stuff all over the place in here today. We've got these little jars. These are tapered candle holders. Let me get this green one because I'm attracted to green, but how vintage looking is this? And I'm wondering if you can take that brass bit out at the top because that would make a really good reed diffuser bottle, wouldn't it? Okay, we've got some tinsel, tinsel? Tinsel for Easter, oh wow, oh wow. That's just that definitely gonna give me a headache. No, that's not. So they've still got these baby's breath wreaths in store, dried wreaths, and I've got one of these. It doesn't have a price on it, but I paid 15 pound for mine. We've got these wooden bunnies, again, statues. And then we've got more wreaths. Again, this is looking very colourful. And although I love the colour, I just prefer it a little bit more muted. Like, they're so bright, they're artificially bright. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah, but they're beautiful nonetheless. Look at this sunflower one. It's beautiful, isn't it? Joelle reminds me of a sunflower. then we've got down here some little chick baskets in this bright yellow colour. How, how gorgeous are they? And then we found them, you guys. So £3.29. Neutral hanging bunny. So, um, yeah. What would you do with this? Now, this is where, you guys, you need to work out, do we really need this stuff or is it just... Is it just tat, that really, around the house? It's just clutter, isn't it? You know, work out what you could use time and time again. I always ask myself, can I bring this out year on year? Is it timeless? This is quite nice. Look at this little um, garland for tablescapes, I'm thinking. And it's a bit more muted. You know, it's not really bright colours. It's got the little carrots in there as well. Really nice for an Easter tablescape. They've also got this crackled egg one as well. Moving on to home decor, we've got some reed diffusers, these Grecian statue reed diffusers. I think I picked these up last time we were in store. And um, yeah, I really like these. And then we've got some, now I love the bottle on this one. Let's have a little closer look. So this is orange blossom and jasmine. That's not a scent I would normally go for, really. Although it is the spring, but the, the, the scent doesn't match the bottle. And then they've got the black one here, which is sandalwood and jasmine, which is more me of a scent for sure. But I don't like the black bottle. I prefer the other bottle, so they've got it wrong. How nice are these white four plants? They, they just look really ethereal, don't they? $9.99 for the pot. It's quite a medium-sized pot as well. It's just, just lovely. Love that. I know a lot of people are into the monochrome decor and monochrome like interiors. They've got loads of black and white monochrome styling pieces, vases, you name it, in store. But here is what I came for today, actually. I love adding a spring vibe with nature to my house. And these are stunning. What are these hanging? Are these wisteria? 
I think it's wisteria, you guys, but I think we normally see it in the purple, don't we? Wisteria is normally purple, but I love that with the hanging flowers. It's beautiful. And then they have these wisteria stems. These are single stems if you're doing your own floral arrangements. Beautiful. So as you can see, I love the white and the green together. It's normally the only thing that I go for. These ones are really nice. The tone of it is really nice. It looks realistic. And they've got these little white flowers. Not sure what they are. And then we have some blossom. How nice is this? I love to see the blossom. It's probably one of my favorite flowers. And then here they have some magnolia stems. So I bought a couple of these from Dunelm. You'll have seen it in the last interior haul video because we collect all these items, what we buy from these shop with me's and we do one big interior haul um, decor. They have these magnolia stems in the range. Now they do look a lot cheaper. They're really slightly cheaper than Dunelm, but they look a, a bit cheaper as well, but nice. Then they have these, and they have these every year because I've seen them last year and probably the years before that. But these grass table runners, again, if you're doing a garden party for the children, you know, like it gives me proper Alice in Wonderland vibes. Like, I love this stuff. And look, we're now in the garden section. You could even decorate the table with all our fairy animals and they could all come to tea, including this little pig up here. Look at that. Oh, that is so nice. And these ducks. I kiss better than I cook. We've got these little gonks, which are so cute. And then we have some... Well, I would say the outdoor scents, lemon, bergamot and basil. How nice does that sound? Orange, blossom and jasmine. These are the candles. Might have a little sniff. Eucalyptus and white pine candles, scented candles. Look at the little wooden tops as well. So nice. I do like outdoor scents in the spring. They've got these little butterfly planters, which are really, really sweet. You could also paint these kind of planters to suit the decor of your garden, etc. But look at these little rustic bowls. Now, I love looking in the garden section because you can find stuff like this that will also go inside of the house. Look how rustic it is, you know, because it's made for outside. That's why I love that. Bringing the outside in brings all the rustic tones and the, I don't know, it just brings all the texture to the house, doesn't it? It's like all mossy. It's really nice. Okay, so, oh wow, I've seen these before. I've seen them on Instagram, these strawberry vases. Um, they're cute, aren't they? But no, they're not a bit of me. Um, I do like this rustic um, textured vase though, which is really affordable, isn't it? Five pounds for that. And it's quite a decent size. We've got a basket full, a shopping trolley full of vanilla tonka. Pop puree, I do love a pop puree. I love the colors in this one. Not sure how much it is, you guys. Like I said, it's all in a shopping trolley, so I'm guessing they're putting it all out. And again, these are in a shopping trolley as well. These must be new in. Have we come on the right day where all the new stock is being replenished? All this spring is in this basket. Look at this floral box, wooden box. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, where's the price? Because I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, look at these vases. This is a little watering can vase, ceramic. Automatically went for the greyish colour because, like, I just love that tone in my house. It's almost a sagey, grey, cream, I don't know, a mixture of those colours. However, they've got this sage green one as well next to it, which I really like as well. In fact, I imagine all three in the boot room because I do water all the plants in there as well. I'd actually use that to water the plants with. And that white one is off-white as well. I've actually got one of these. I picked it up in the last haul. Um, it's like a rustic wooden, and it's really, really rustic. Like French distressed looking. And yeah, I love, I love it. It's quite big as well. These ceramic artichokes, nice styling pieces, but we're not quite ready for styling pieces yet in the house in the renovation but this one's really nice as well of a family we've got these um boucle door stoppers for 5.99 
And then look at this. How nice is this fern vase? Look at the tones of it. I just think there's something really vintage and nature inspired, obviously, about this vase. I really like it. $11.99. And then we have these white ceramic leaves, palm leaves. I don't necessarily go for palm leaves because it's very tropical vibes, isn't it? When we do live in England, so it doesn't really suit my kind of a house. They've also got this palm leaf um, ceramic tray plate. We've got more white jasmine rediffusers. For 4 99 we have these regular, irregular, sorry, uh, woven baskets of some sort. We have more reed diffusers. These are pretty nice. They've got these little eucalyptus stems inside them. Very nature inspired. I love it. And then, wow, do you remember when we were doing the office up in the last renovation house and I was looking for something like this to style, with the, to style up in the shelves in there? And they didn't have this then. I love it. Really impressed with the home fragrances, you guys. They've got this soothing lavender and tonka bean. Let's have a good sniff of that. Oh, yes, getting the lavender from that, although that would make me fall asleep. But it is it does say relax on it, so you would have that in the bathroom, bedtime baths, or in your bedroom. And then these jars are stunning. Look at this. This one is dark amber and vetiver. Never heard of that before. Mmm, giving me all the marzipan vibes. It's very sweet. <laughs> this one is dark patchouli. I love the jars. Let's have a little sniff of this one. You can also reuse these jars. Oh, I think that one's my favourite. That's my favourite out of those two anyway. And then we have this velvet rose and oud. This sounds like a bit of me. I love oody smells. Um, I'm not getting the rose. It's really nice though. Interested in this, lime, basil and mandarin because I do like it. it's a herby garden scent in the spring. Um, no, not that one. <laughs> I am looking for tall grass plants like this. But they're always so expensive. This one's like $17.99. Oh, actually, look at this one. Now, I don't like the pampas on the top, but I like the earthy, the earthy colours in the grass. And this one is only $8.99. And we could snip off those little pampas uh, tips and just have the grass. Is it worth it for $8.99? Oh, I really like that. And we could also paint the pot so the pot doesn't really matter because I'm always doing things like that. Oh, guys, look at this brass mirror clock. Right, these, I've got this. I use it, it's a little trinket dish. I was going to use it for snacks, but on the back it tells you you shouldn't use it for, like, food. So I actually use it as a trinket dish. We put our car keys in that. <laughs> and they've also got it in the black now. It's, like, got bronze um detail on as well oh these are giving me white company vibes so these are seashell candles botanical style candles basically and they're gorgeous to look at they don't smell of much so yeah if you want fragrance i'd go to the white company we've then got oh these are also giving me white company vibes we've got these ribbed mugs these are really nice i like just plain white ceramic sometimes textured mugs we do like vintage mugs now though, so um, this one, however, is a gorgeous one for the spring. And then we're in the Zoflora section and I'm really underwhelmed. I've got the Velvet Poppy at the moment, ready for the spring. And they have all sorts of cleaning products, but I'm just going to scan over that today, guys. We're not about that life today let's concentrate on valentine's day and all the spring goodness they've got these pens and these necklaces crafts for little girls i would have loved that as a little girl they've got these little polystyrene hearts for one pound fifty that you can paint make your own foam wreath heart wreath just valentine's day crafts i suppose very affordable and then what's that up here heart pegs oh oh look you guys they've got this tape 
Valentine's tip. If you were scrapbooking, making a scrapbook, how good would that be? Oh my god, it's giving me all... It makes me want to craft. And then we've got this Valentine's Day ribbon. I'm not keen on the print on that one. Um, What is this? Little paper. Again, for if you're doing like a scrapbook, a Valentine's scrapbook how cute would that be that's a really good idea actually isn't it like creating a little love book and then we have what are these napkins not sure why there's napkins here oh these are really good if you've got a really pretty garden you could you could chuck the um flagstones with the kids for Easter, how nice would that be? Outside garden um, crafts. And then we've got these foam roses. Oh, and if I was to do bunting, this is the one I would probably choose. This green gingham bunny bunting, so cute. And then they've also got these ears for the little girls. I love those. Should I get some ears so I can do my makeup? <laughs> no, we're not a child. You're not a child, Susie. <laughs> More Easter crafts. I am loving it. We're going down a real rabbit hole here, aren't we? Pardon the pun. There's so much good stuff to do with the kids. I wish they had all this stuff when Joelle was a little girl. <gasps> Look at these little Easter books. Let me just open these. I've got to see. If you're crafting and doing the scrapbooking, I love the prints inside them. How nice are they? And then what else have we got? Oh, more Easter crafts. These are paint your own squishy eggs. How nice would these be if you painted them in a like, in a vintage pattern? Because I've seen some on Pinterest. <laughs> or do we just buy some like this? These are pretty as well, but they've just got glitter all over them. And, and, and I don't like the glitter, but they're cute nonetheless. And then we have these plaster moulds. And you can paint these as well. How good is that? Look at these. They're so good for only three pounds as well like that would have kept me quiet for hours on end that three pounds and just when you thought it was all over <laughs> we've got these cute little daisies again for scrapbooking i imagine like where else would you put them or just crafting in general isn't it and then these decorative eggs there's just so much to choose from these little egg baskets for a pound and then we have these moss balls. These are only a pound and you get six in these packets. What could I do with those? I'm wondering if to get some of these, you guys, because I do like them in my four plant pots. Listen, I'm just showing you what's on the end of each aisle. I haven't even gone down the aisles. Look, it's like craft heaven. Aisle after aisle after aisle. And we're going to open a right can of worms if we go down here because you'll not get me out the store today. So I don't think I can do it. Oh, what the hell? Let's have a look at these. Ooh, Emily in Paris stationery books. I love stationery. I just love stationery. And then what else have we got? These little gingham pouches, pencil cases. They're really cute as well. What else have we got in here? Like I would have loved it down here at school time. Emily in Paris pen holder. And then these we've got these little strawberry notebooks. <laughs> They're hardback. Oh, no, can't get it out. Um, lined notebooks with the strawberries on. Very, very spring-like. Very, very cute. Love me a notebook. Oh, look at these vintage ribbons. Vintage floral ribbons, you guys. What? And then we've got this lace ribbon as well. Very cute. I found these. These are, I think, if you're making your own wreath. So they've got little stems of things that, and that you can build up and make your own wreath for Easter or for spring even. 
and I'm feeling really inspired because I've got some ideas for my decorate with spring this year for the house and this is nice isn't it this is like um, a string a leaf string <laughs> And then we've got these little scrapbooks with these rose gold roses on them. They're beautiful inside. It's like craft paper as well. And then we've got color, coloring books, adult mindful coloring books. I say adult, they don't need to be adults, do they? I think coloring books can be for children and adults. <laughs> I love them, I've got one. Joelle bought me one one year and a load of coloring pencils. And I, I must admit, I absolutely love sitting there and coloring, coloring it in. It's actually still packed away or else I would do that. Look at these coloring pencils. Look at all these colors. These colors are a bit of me. You know, the earthy tones. All the earthy tones. Oh, I love those. I want them. What else have we got in this section? All the colouring pens. I could spend all day in here and not worry about bills and credit scores, you know? Okay, we're on to the soft furnishings and they've got these new in cushions for spring with the daisies on. They're really cute. I'm sorry, you guys. Like I said, I think it's all new in because it's, they've not managed to price anything up yet. They've got these daisy cushions. That's really sweet, isn't it? This is a nice blanket as well. I'm just loving all the green and the nature this year. And I'm loving the pale blue as well. This little daisy blanket is lovely, isn't it? the pastel colours I just want to inject a bit of colour into my life I just feel like it and then I'm looking at artwork this always always grabs my attention when I'm in the store and I don't know if that's something significant and this one as well this also grabs my attention I love it and then we have more home fragrance dotted around the store We've got soft cotton is always a good scent but I feel, I feel like we've overdone it with the linen fresh so flora so I never really want to buy like cotton fragrance candles or diffusers these tapered candles are really nice and they're ribbed they've got the white well the like creamy color and then they've got these like sagey green tones which I really really like as well and obviously black Oh, look, look at these mockingbirds, ceramic mockingbirds. They're so sweet, aren't they? And just like that, we are back from the range. What do we all think? I thought they really, really pulled it out of the bag. Now, the only thing is with the range that just bugs me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, the stuff is just wonderful. Like there's so much stuff and it's not from like previous seasons that we see in time and time again you know like B&M do that a lot don't they like I really think B&M is at the bottom when it comes to new innovative decor and ideas the range just pulled it out the bag I loved everything like it was so good I got so inspired today I'm just in one of their moods and I think that's what's wrong with me I've noticed about a week two weeks before my period I get in this funk that I'm in it's like a tired funk and I can't be bothered with real life but I can be bothered being inspired like taking myself out of real life and into some like inspirational world like today we was looking at all the craft stuff and I could have got lost in there all day because I just felt really inspired with all that stuff so maybe I just need to have like a planning day today so yeah I'm not going to do much and also I'm filming for the vlog it's Shrove Tuesday today so I'm really excited to make pancakes we're going to do that over on the vlog so you'll see the vlog on Sunday night so I did pick up a few bits from the range today and as usual I'm going to save them do a big huge home interior haul bits that we've picked up from all the shop with me's along the way like we usually do and it won't be long a few more weeks we'll do another one of those when I've got enough stuff to do a haul with and yeah I'll see you for that hopefully so if you're not subscribed make sure you are give this video a thumbs up if you like this sort of content I hope you enjoyed coming with me to the range still feeling all of the spring vibes so if you're still here 
at this stage in the video, as usual, leave me a butterfly emoji in the comments. Always, always leave me a comment because I love chatting with you guys down there. And I will see you hopefully in my next video. Bye guys.